أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The angels who tear out the souls of the wicked with violence those who gently draw out the souls of the blessed and by those who glide along on errands of mercy and press forward as in a race arrange to do the commands of their Lord One day everything that can be in commotion will be in violent commotion followed by oft-repeated commotions. But that day will be in agitation. Cast down will be their owner's eyes. Say now, what shall we indeed be, return to our former state? But when we shall have become rotten bones? They say, it would in that case be a return with loss. Verily, it will be but a single compelling cry. Behold! They will be in the full awakening to judgment. Has the story of Moses reached you? Behold, your Lord did call to him in the sacred valley of Tuwa. Go you to Pharaoh, for he had indeed transgressed all bounds. And say to him, Would you that you should be purified from sin? And that I guide you to your Lord, so you should fear him. Did Moses show him the great sign? Pharaoh rejected it and disobeyed guidance. Further, he turned his back, striving hard against Allah. Then he collected his men and made a proclamation, saying, I am your Lord Most High. But Allah did punish him, and made an example of him, in the hereafter, as in this life. In this is an instructive warning for whosoever fears Allah. But are you the more difficult to create of the heaven above? Allah has constructed it. On high has he raised its canopy, and he has given it order and perfection. At night does he endow with darkness, and its splendor does he bring out with light. And the earth, moreover, has he extended to a wide expanse. He draws out there from its moisture and its pasture. The mountains has he firmly fixed, for use and convenience to you and your cattle. Therefore, when there comes the great overwhelming event, the day when man shall remember all that he strove for, and hellfire shall be placed in full view for all to see, for such as had transgressed all bounds, and had preferred the life of this world, the abode will be hellfire, and for such as had entertained the fear of standing before their Lord's tribunal, and had restrained their souls from lower desires, their abode will be the garden. I ask you about the hour. When will be its appointed time? Wherein are you concerned with the declaration thereof? Your Lord is the limit fixed, therefore? You are but a warner for such as fear it. Say they see it, it will be as if they had tarried but a single evening, or at most, till the following morn.